The Dakota Stage is opening its 45th season by presenting Sweeney Todd. The show is described as a dark and thrilling musical that tells the chilling tale of Benjamin Barker, a skilled barber known as Sweeney Todd. And we are welcoming two leads to the show, Chris Remick, who is playing Sweeney Todd. And Lindsay Massey, who is playing Mrs. Lovett. Thank you both for being with us today. Yeah, good to be here. Thank you. So guys, uh, if you know, you know, but if you don't, <laughs> Um, how might you describe the show uh, to someone that maybe has no idea about the story of Sweeney Todd? Uh, so Sweeney Todd is a barber in 1840s London um, who comes back with a little bit of thirst for revenge and uh, a little bit of bloodlust uh, to go along with it. So it is an adult show, um, not for young kids, but it's a, it's a musical. Uh, there's a lot of big numbers. Um, it's it's a, a lot of fun. So, you know, just kind of take that with a grain of salt. You know what you're getting into, but but it's um, it's a good time. What drew you to this iconic character, Lindsay, and what made you want to be part of this production? Oh, I have always loved this musical. I actually was in this musical in college, played a different role, but I've always loved the role of Mrs. Lovett. Um, I see her as very different than how played in the film version, how she was played in the film version. So I, I make it a little bit more comedic because there's a lot of dark content happening, but <clears throat> I kind of come to the table with a little bit more zest for, and hopefulness and a nice contrast. So it works well with Chris's portrayal of Sweeney and, and mine is love it in my opinion. You mentioned the movie. A lot of people might be aware of that, starring <coughs> Johnny Depp, Helena Bonham Carter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how would you describe, Chris, that this experience is going to be different also from the movie? Well, uh, when they take a, a, a stage play and they adapt it to a movie, they have to cut out some things. Um, plus, you're going to see it live in front of you happening on stage versus, you know, a very scripted and, and um, shot on a, a movie set. So I think that it's a little bit more visceral to see it happening right in front of you. <laughs> And more songs. There's lots of songs oh, yeah. and little snippets from amazing characters that are cut out for the film to make it shorter. Sure. So this musical is, you know, around two and a half hours long, depending on how it's how it how it finishes. But um, okay. yeah, come come without your children. Come full, <laughs> and you're gonna have a good time. Don't so wear white in case there's had, any. Maybe only the mentioned. front row. <laughs> only the front row. You had mentioned it takes place in London. Mm -hmm. yeah. So do you guys have <clears throat> British accents? Cockney. Yes, really? indeed, sir. Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. my gosh. Different he characters. You can't do a British accent, so, so that's why it's it. funny. Give it a whirl. Give I it can't a... give it a whirl. <laughs> Just say, hello, oh, God, no. <laughs> That's what everybody tries to do. I mean, what has this experience been like? I, I can't imagine <clears throat> the amount of time and energy that goes into putting this production together, and you're still doing that. Opening night is coming up, October 12th. What has it been like for you, Chris, just overall? Um, yeah, it's, it's been a process. So we, we started with auditions and started rehearsal in August. Uh, we've been going since then. Um, we're up to five nights a week now. Um, so it is, it's a big time commitment from everyone, from, from us through you know, the, the entire cast and the crew. You know, it's 30 plus people that are there every night um, doing these uh, rehearsals. And uh, so next week we start full dress rehearsals leading up to opening night. Um, so, but it's really starting to come together. Like, I think everyone can see, like, this is going to be a, a good show and uh, everyone's going to be proud of what we're going to put on the stage. Our cast, our whole cast is so impressive. The vocal talent, the acting backgrounds, there is not a weak link in our cast. Wow. I, I'm really proud to be a part of it. Well, it's a huge production. I mean, Sweeney Todd, this is a big musical. This is kicking off the 45th season. This is going to be big. And a this, first for Dakota Stage, too. For them to be putting that one Sweeney on. Sweeney yep. Todd in a musical this large. Yeah. This is a big bite that we're taking. Oh my in. gosh. I okay. This is going to be so awesome. And we are so excited also that you guys are going to be doing a little performance for us. Uh, we have to mention a couple of other fun things. Zombie prom. Uh, Jeff is really no interested idea. in that. Uh, do, what do you guys know about zombie prom? Okay. So, so zombie prom is going to be October 28th up at the High Plains Art Center. Um, and uh, right before that, there is, uh, you can register for some makeup. Um, makeup tutorials to do like you know your gross cuts and and your zombie makeup. Um, <laughs> yes. If you go to the makeup session, zombie prom's included, but you have to register for that. But zombie prom is open for eight to eighteen, um, and it's just supposed to be a, a nice night. Um, you get uh, some concessions like some hot dogs and drinks with it. Come in your costumes. Um, you know, have a have a good time. Um, yeah, just party it up. Fun. It could lead to a career in being a makeup artist. Like, I love that. I always wanted to do that. Zombie Prom, 8 to 18. Make sure you check it out.
And guys, um, thank you so much for joining us. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah, and thank you. I'm looking forward to hearing your performance uh, a little later on in the show. <laughs> yeah. All right, Coming folks. Uh, Sweeney Todd is showing at the Dakota Stage Thursday, October 12th through Sunday, October 15th. And again, Thursday, October 19th through Sunday, October 22nd. Go to dakotastageltd.com for more information. And stay tuned, as we mentioned, because we do get that performance from Lindsay and Chris after the break. But still